loves welcome to your love reading um i hope everyone is safe happy healthy and doing well um so my loves if you are interested in crystals to uh heal the heart chakra heal all the chakras um for anxiety depression to manifest please check out kim k crystals her information is in the description box below um she does go live uh, she does live crystal sales on youtube um and she also has a website that you guys could check out if you can't wait until the next live okay all that info should be below special shout out to gary's tarot um, everything should be in the description box below for recommended readers um, I'm not going to be posting my email for personal readings because I'm just getting overwhelmed with personal readings so I'm going to start going live on cancer baby tarot and doing one question readings okay um, what else so my loves for anyone that is a uh, out to post a negative comment please understand that as a reader i'm constantly grounding centering shielding clearing my energy so these you know comments and situations don't really affect me as a reader but they are so disrespectful and unkind to the people that um this does resonate with okay um, you have to keep in mind that as a healer, we read for the people that are broken, that are hurting, and that are in pain. So um, that's what I do. That is the gift that I have. So it is rare that my readings are all like unicorns and rainbows. You know what I'm saying? I'm out to heal people that are in pain and that are hurting. So if this doesn't resonate with you, I just kindly ask that you just leave the comment if you want to, but just kindly keep in mind that there is someone out there that is going through this and they deserve love and um to be recognized okay all right guys i love you all so much let's go ahead and get started all right my loves let's see what we have here for scorpio sun moon rising and venus signs for my scorpios please Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Scorpios, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, please, spirit. What messages do we have here for my Scorpios, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for Scorpio, please. What does Scorpio need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, angel spirits, and guides. Okay. So we have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the Seven of Swords. We've got the Judgment card, Sagittarian energy, and we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. We have the Chariot, Cancerian energy, and we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Under the deck, we've got the Ace of Cups. So Scorpio, this could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through. It could be something, you know, someone close to you is going through. Um, take it as it resonates, okay? So Scorpio, I feel like there was a, a need here to make a very swift and decisive, uh, or let me say a very swift and... You had to make a very swift decision, but it had to be a very intelligent decision and it had to be the right decision. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a decision was made here that was made from a very logical perspective. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, maybe you guys had a plan. Maybe someone here had a plan on, you know, what to do or how to get out of something or, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's almost like someone here had a strategy happening here. Um, with the Six of Swords and the Judgment card, Okay. All right. So Scorpio, what I'm feeling is, is that you have someone coming back around. Either you're going back to somebody or someone's coming back around to you. This person's decision is not based off of love. It's based off of logic. So whatever reason you're going back around to this person or they're coming back around to you, is for a higher it's it's for an ulterior motive it's not for love because with the queen of cups and the seven of swords in the reverse it's kind of like someone here is 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 coming in with love because the other person is trying to get away 
Do you understand what I'm saying? So we've got one person that's trying to get away from the situation. And the other person here is coming in wanting a second chance. But it's like... It's like they're not doing it in the name of love. They're doing it because of a strategy, because they want something. Let's go ahead and clarify this. Tell me about the chariot here for Scorpio. We've got the king of swords in the reverse. You see what I'm saying? This person's decision is made. This could be a very abusive person, a very violent person, a person that's maybe full of rage and wanting to control. Um, you know, this is someone who may physically hit the other person, but it's a very narcissistic and abusive type of energy. Okay. Um, tell me about the king of swords here, please, for Scorpio and the wheel of fortune. I feel like what's happening here is we have somebody that was very abusive and now they are basically getting what's due to them. Karma is taking place here. The wheel is turning. Okay, so someone here maybe made a very cold and calculated and abusive decision. <coughs> and with the wheel of fortune and the justice card, they're paying for it. So somebody here maybe ended a connection or made a decision here and now they're wanting to come back on that decision. They're saying, nope, never mind, I'm coming back. Tell me about the Six of Swords in the reverse. The High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean Energy. Tell me about the Judgment card and the Page of Wands, the Leo, Sagittarius Energy. Okay, so uh, Scorpio, what this person's going to do is they're not going to come back full force and say, hey, listen, let's get back together. They're going to come in with little flirtatious things, with making you laugh, being friends. But secretly, this person wants you to come back or you want to come back, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like someone here is paying their karma. Someone here is paying their karma because they were very abusive. They were very abusive. And now one person's trying to get away. And now they're being very sweet and kind. Tell me about the Queen of Cups here for Scorpio. The Knight of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Energy. Tell me about the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo Energy. So Scorpio, I feel like what's happening here is somebody doesn't want to be alone. Someone has a fear of being alone. So what they're doing now is they're coming in passionately. They're offering sex. They're offering love. They're offering all of this stuff so that you don't slip away so that you don't slip away because they don't want to be alone. So I feel like, yeah, what happened was this person, this person, um, they, when, when, let's say they ended it, okay? When they had time to be alone and think, it hit them, oh my gosh, I don't want to lose my person, but this is karma. This is karma because someone here was very abusive with that king of swords and the reverse. You see what I'm saying? Let's see here. So Scorpio, the person that, you know what I'm saying, was really abusive here is now having regret. So they're coming forward with this passionate, loving attitude because they don't want to be alone. This is a very narcissistic type of energy here, guys. Tell me about Scorpio, please. We've got the Four of Cups. We've got the King of Wands in the reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries energy, and we have the Four of Pentacles, Knight of Cups under the deck. Scorpio, this is somebody that is coming in very romantic, very sweet, but with the Four of Pentacles, it's a very selfish and greedy energy because this person is very jealous, very possessive, very controlling. They have rage. This person may even be non-committal. They may seek attention in very ugly ways. Um, with the Four of Cups, this person doesn't like the lack of attention from, from you. Um, this person doesn't like uh, feeling lonely or bored. They, they don't like that. That, you know what I'm saying? They don't like that you're not giving them attention. Tell me about the four of pentacles for Scorpio. We've got the three of pentacles. Tell me about the king of wands in reverse for Scorpio. The tower. Yeah, this person, I feel they want to work things out. They want to work things out. They want to talk. But this person has an explosive temper. Explosive temper. Four of cups for 
Scorpio, the moon card. Yeah, they're not showing. This person is very egotistical and prideful, but they're not showing how lonely and bored they actually are. This person is just very lonely without you, Scorpio. So they're going to come in. They're going to be angry. They're going to do whatever they have to do to get your attention. Send nudes. You know what I'm saying? Flirt. Offer sex. Offer love. Whatever they need to do to, to get your attention because they're not receiving attention and it's bothering them. Okay? So, Scorpio, this could be you that's not reading, receiving attention and it's bothering you. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Um, this person is, is like doing all of these things but just not saying, I love you and I want you back. Do you understand? So they're, they're going to do everything but that. You know what I'm saying? They're going to do everything but tell you, I love you and I want you to come home. So, I, you know, I don't know how you're going to handle that, but they, they're, they're rushing in because they don't want you to get away. This person is codependent on you. They don't want you to leave, okay? All right, guys, I love you all so very much, and I will see you soon. Bye, my loves.